Hey, joining us now from Capitol Hill, Republican Senator from South Carolina, Lindsey Graham. Lindsey, Mark is coming back Yay. to Washington, D.C. <laughs> How about that? We have a 94 reunion, can't we? Uh, yes, and we will be buying just as it was in 94. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So much. This guy like, lives on a plantation, <laughs> but he's the cheapest guy, I think, I, that I met in Washington, oh, D.C. He gives cheap a bad name. He really does. <laughs> cheap a bad name. Okay, so you've said quite a few things over the past several mm -hmm. months in September 11th about being Benghazi, uh, and you say the dam is about to break. When mm -hmm. the dam breaks, what are you looking for here? What should Americans be looking for uh, on these uh, Benghazi hearings today? Uh, people who were there coming forward to say it was a terrorist attack from the get-go, that uh, there may have been other assets in the region that could have been deployed. When the attack began, nobody knew how long it was going to last. And I think you're going to find more about the, uh, the spin from the White House about the video is not going to hold water. So people who were involved in the attack are going to come forward and put it in better context. Uh, Senator, I know you have some serious concerns about exactly what happened there. And I'm just wondering, mm -hmm. because I guess some in the White House or others who, who, who don't see your point of view would say that this has already been thoroughly investigated by the Accountability Review Board, which is chaired by Admiral Mullen and Ambassador Pickering. Does that not allay, allay any of the concerns that you might have? Well, uh, to be honest with you, the Accountability Review Board never <clears throat> talked to Secretary Clinton. Uh, these are good people who are doing it. I don't know if it's staff driven or not, but we now know who changed, who recommended the talking points to be changed. You had a spokesman from the State Department saying the first version of the talking points given by the CIA would be, be used by Congress to attack the State Department for denying a uh, security request. Well, that's not exactly the way to vet information, and that wasn't found out by the Accountability review board. I think the truth, the story of Benghazi is that after the attack, seven weeks before an election, there was an effort by some senior people to put a political spin on this rather than tell the story that it was a terrorist attack from the get-go because they were so close to the election. So is, is that your biggest concern about the fact that, they, that the president had a political message seven weeks before an election that we're beating Al-Qaeda? Or right. is the bigger concern that the ambassador asked for more security. We're now hearing others ask for more security. Uh, and those requests seem to be, uh, if not completely ignored, dismissed. My biggest concern is that this is an example of how the light footprint is not working. We understood pretty quickly, McCain and myself, when we went to Iraq, that this wasn't just a few dead enders. Remember when Secretary Cheney said, this is just a few dead enders, Iraq is really okay? Well, we had the wrong footprint. We had the wrong strategy. I see the same thing in Libya. We were there in October of 2011, and you could see this coming. But it's, a, I think, a foreign policy going wrong here. Syria, Libya, Egypt. I think the greater story is that the light footprint approach to the Mideast at a time of turmoil is not working. And here's another story. When Secretary Clinton told on the 14th of September family members, we're going to prosecute the guy who made that video, how could she possibly have said that? Either she was totally detached from reality in Benghazi or is putting political spin. And on the 18th of September, when the president went on a letterman and said this was a result of a hateful video a week after the attack, I think the president needs to explain that statement. Either he's really detached or he was putting a political spin on it. And that's important. John Meacham. Senator, given the drone policy, given the president's uh, broad anti-terror policy over the last five years, where do you rank him in terms of his uh, stewardship as commander in chief on the terrorism issue? I think on the drone side, he's upped his game in a very good way. He's used drones in the most effective way of any president since the technology has been deployed. We really have heard Al Qaeda along the uh, tribal regions. When it comes to managing the Arab Spring and understanding the threats that Libya faced by not having a trained army, trying to not be Bush at all costs, uh, uh, outsourcing security in Libya to a non existent government, uh, leading from behind in Syria, letting it just completely disintegrate, I would say that, that his approach to the Arab Spring, which nobody could see coming, has quite frankly uh, been a failure. And I'm not very impressed by what we're doing with Iran. We talk, they enrich uranium. I hope he ups his game because the biggest fear I have is radical Islamists getting a hold of chemical weapons in Syria or Iran getting a nuclear weapon. 
All right, Senator Lindsey Graham, thank you very much. Come back on the show. It's good I to will. have you on. You know, <laughs> the senator you. and I tend not to agree on really. Things. Yeah, we don't yes. at and, all. And say that loudly in South Carolina. But yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, Senator, <laughs> I'll say it loud and clear. Thanks. It'll help you. But thank uh, you. you know but what? It, you. It's great that you came on. It's not a bad experience. We ask questions. Our viewers are smart, and I think it's well, great. Well, I, I'm hey, thinking. We're, we're friends. He was at my birthday party. Well, I'm just thinking it's too bad that some uh, folks who work in Washington, like Heidi Hyde. Can't, can't come on and answer questions. Don't get me about started on how we are covering. All right, hey Lindsay, thank you so it's much for being lost. with us. Good Thanks. luck with thank Mark you. Sanford when he gets Thanks, back. Buddy. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll buy him dinner. Okay, very <laughs> good.